welcome back to Wendy's Colouring. Um, another video, yeah, but a quite unusual one for me. I think it's a first. Yeah, I'm actually going to unhaul some books. Yeah, I know, a miracle. <laughs> Doesn't happen very often. Won't happen very often. Um, but yeah, I've had a look through my... Well, I suppose some of these have been kind of on the edge of the bookcase. I'm sure you know yourself. You kind of... I do love my books, but there are some books that you bought much earlier on in your colouring journey and maybe they were popular maybe they're ones that you just happen to see and think oh I'll have a go at that but as you've been kind of working through this hobby over a number of years you kind of get to know yourself a little bit more about what interests you what you will colour in what you won't colour in and sadly what's been sat there for quite a while and you never colour in and yeah, I know, this is colourists, um, I'm, I'm breaking some colourists rule, I think, aren't I, by having these on an unhaul book, but I, yeah, I think I am unhauling Joan Basford's Magical Jungle, Enchanted Forest, and I'd like to say that's where my list ends, but it doesn't. <laughs> these books, obviously, were fairly early on in my colouring journey that I bought. And I've not paid a fortune from them. I think they're all B&M ones. As you can see, this one has gone a very strange colour. It's been in the bookshelf. It's not been open. But yeah, I seem to have got this kind of... It's almost green, really. It's very strange colour it's gone. It has gone a very strange colour. But I've seen, obviously, loads of people have done amazing things with this book. They have. And I know it can be an absolutely stunning, beautiful book, but that is it. That is as far in the years that I've had this book that I have gone. Um, it just, yeah, I don't know what it... I know I'm never going to colour that page, never. And too many of these, when I flip through, I think, I'm just never going to colour in this. It just does nothing for me. It's a very strange colour. I think it's actually a worse colour in real life than I can see on the calendar. It's kind of very yellow-green colour that it's gone. Um, I'm not a huge Shauna Basford colourer anyway. She's not my first pick um, with colouring books. I like some of it. Some of it I love. But yeah, not this book, as you can see. I just don't reach for it. It doesn't call to me. It's just not my thing. It's very nice. But I think it's a no. I did do this on the colour. With some brush pens that my mother bought me. And then they ran out. That's as far as they went. Arteza, looking at you. So yeah. Chanty Forest is a no. This one colour's not as bad as that one. But again, I just, yeah, I pick it up. I kind of think, well, yeah, it's quite nice, but... Yeah, it's just not, it doesn't call to me. Yeah, and it's been on the shelf now for years and I've still not coloured anything at all in Magical Jungle. Nothing, not even graffitied the cover this time. Lost Ocean, I think I thought Lost Ocean would be more my thing, but I've now realised that I don't enjoy colouring sea life, sea things, I don't know why. I thought I would because you can obviously do it really colourful and it could be quite... Um, creative but yeah mentally it just does not do it for me I do not enjoy it there's too many little patterns and yeah that that is all I've got done I've written down what colours I've used how helpful of me <laughs> I did it I don't even know what they are mm, no idea may as well take it out because I'm not going to keep it it's irrelevant I think they were prismas maybe which probably didn't help in Joanna Basford's book because they're quite thin but yeah I'm thinking these are all unhauled out the shelf I'm sick of looking at them I never want to colour them they need to go <laughs> then other weird choices I got this book from Amazon Japan I think sometime in the year but yeah, the more I look at it, the more I think, I'm not going to colour that. I'm never going to colour that. I quite like the cream tea page. Mm. It is nice. There's some nice bits in it. But I just don't think I'm ever going to colour it. No idea what it's called. 
there's the ISBN if you want to know. Um, it's a very nice book. I don't know why, but I think it's a no. Just again, I don't wish to colour it. I know I don't. Then I've got a whole stack of these, which I've been meaning to get rid of for quite a while. I think in the main, ooh, not that. I think in the main, I got these from the range of B&M in the UK. And I think this one I have done something in. But I've got two of these that have got the glitter in. And they're annoying, let's be quite honest. I don't. I quite like the images in it. But, yeah, see, that is the one I did with my glitter gel pens. I've got to be honest, I, I quite like it now it's done. But the actual action of glitter gel pen on a glittered surface is horrible. <laughs> it's not relaxing. I don't enjoy it. I quite like what it looks like, but that's all I can say. You can work over with alcohol pens. Again, it does nothing for your nibs. This is me trying things out on it, I think. It does nothing for your nibs because obviously you've got sharp bits of stuff on it. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm not buying any more of these. I'm not keeping the ones I've got. This one I quite like. I think I got it because it's got my dog in it. I might accidentally take that page out <laughs> before I get rid of it. But yeah, these are more Mandela, but again, they've got this rough glitter. I don't think you can see it on the on the screen now I'm looking, but it's all got this glittery surface on it. Oh no, it hasn't got my dog in it. Why did I even buy it? But yeah, no. And then I also got these, which I, I think I definitely got from the range, that are all uh, Deco Time or Craft Sensation. I'm sure they're probably the same colour company. It's watercolour paper. And that side of it is quite good quality, but I just never work in it. I never use it. I don't think I'm ever going to use it. The images just don't, I don't find inspiring. There's a few that are nice flowery ones that you could do, but I just don't think I'm ever going to colour in it. And it's taking up bookshelf space. And so I'm gonna, I've tested something in this. Have I actually done anything other than that? Probably not, knowing me. Uh, no, I haven't. So I've tested in it, but not actually done it. But yeah, all of them, they are going. Just taking up space. Never going to use them. they got to go. And I think I got this from the works. Um, beautiful letters to colour and share by no idea. Knowing the works, it probably won't have a illustrator. Mm. No, not seeing it. It's not even printing details of it, is it? On the back. Mm. Internal illustrations. Oh, there's a few people looking at the list. Janine, somebody, Kelly, Olivia. It again, it's quite nice. It's probably good for kind of home decor if you wanted to do some letters for a bedroom door or something like that, but I'm never gonna colour it. I think again I bought it pretty early in my colouring journey and thought oh that might be quite nice to do but I'm just not and I don't think I ever will so that's also a go and another one that I got from the works and this is I'm still in two minds a little bit about this this is a big book it is not small much bigger than my Jonah Bass book oh let me reach and get it sorry my chair is going to make a racket to kind of give you an idea it's much bigger than one of those Again, just from the works, I think. The Labyrinth Books, Beasts to Colour, does it say? By, edited by a few people, cover designed by a few people. And it's got some nice images in, but I think the size really puts me off. And I, I don't love these kind of bits that are already coloured. It's it's quite patterny as well, I think, is the other thing. that I quite like the image, like this, I think, is a lovely page. And this could be, but it's, it's got so many extra lines in here that feels unnecessary I don't know again I've had it a while I've still not coloured in it I'm never going to colour that and I'm just this I think is beautiful I'm never going to colour it yeah would I miss it no I wouldn't sadly is where we are with this book but I think it's lovely it's a going it's going Again, no idea how easy it would be to find if you're 
different parts of the country. I did get it from the works in the UK. They may still have a few. Then these were most definitely from early, early on in my colouring journey. When I first started, didn't really know what I wanted. These you can buy in the UK just from um, news agents, supermarkets, those kind of things. And I did do a fair amount of testing in some of these. This one I think is completely uncoloured. In the main, the mandala -y. This is the odd picture of something else in here, but as you can see, they are all in the main. Like if there's an owl in, that's that's me suckered. I will have bought it because I've seen an owl. When I flicked it through, like, because ah. I do like doing an owl page. Um, but I never reach for them. If I'm going to do a mandala now, I generally pick my colour yarn ones because the paper's so wonderful in them. I can use whatever I like. That's probably Copic, you know, that's how, that's how sad I was at the beginning. I've used my Copics in this terrible paper. Um, but I just don't ever reach for them. They're taking up a lot of space. I see. Owl, guaranteed. There was an owl in it. I bought it because there was an owl in it. I like it, but I've done him. <laughs> the rest of it, I'm not so bothered about. Uh, I might take him out. And what else have I done? Left the paper in it for a start. Or oh, something I've started and not got any further. Um, oh yeah, that's that's very early on. Some colour pencil and some marker. And I think this is another. Oh no, maybe I've done something in it. I thought it was another uncoloured one. Oh, oh terrible! Quick burn it, burn it. <laughs> and I've done that one as well. But yeah, I I just don't reach for them. I've not coloured in them for years, literally years. They're just taking up space. They're heavy, they're very big, and the paper is not very good, so we've got to go. And on the same vein, I have this Sugar Skull colouring book. I don't think I've had this too long, but I've done the kind of page I liked out of it. There's obviously quite a lot of Sugar Skulls, unsurprisingly, in this book. But I wanted to do her, which is what I did. I did her, and she's the only lady in here, I think. The rest are all Sugar Skulls. So I kind of feel I've done the only page I was actually going to do in this book. So what am I keeping it for? I may as well take her out and it goes. But yeah, Sugar Skull Colouring, I think it was another um, works book. It's only a cheapy one, but I doubt it you'll be able to find it. Oh, why would you want to? Who knows? Oh, was there another woman then? Or did I just see another woman in here? Sure, I just did. Oh. oh, she's not very good though, is she? No, she's not inspiring me. Nope, you're still going. And then you might have seen this one sneak in. Oh, Kirby Rosanne's in your unhaul pile. Yeah, I know. And and I don't colour Kirby Rosanne's very often. I didn't get the last one. Can't remember what the last one was. Didn't get it anyway. Um, I find his. Don't get me wrong. The art is amazing very stunning and this is another stunning book hence why i bought it but i don't tend to color realistic animals i just don't do it and i've looked through this a lot of times i still think it's stunning um but i just don't think i'll ever i'll ever color it, even though it's got owls there i just don't think i'll ever color it it's just not for me i don't think it's a lovely book the images are beautiful but they're not images that I want to colour. So what am I keeping it for? It's just sat on the shelf. It's a goal for me. And this, I can't even remember where I got this from. Might have been the range, might have been B&M, somewhere like that. Um, I've not had it long, really. Um, and this part of me thinks, so you're being a bit hasty here, but I bought this a while ago. It's got, obviously, Harry Potter. It's watercolour paper, but that terrible, cheap watercolour paper that you do tend to get in a cheaper shop. Um, and it's probably good for watercolour practice and I am thinking I'll take it to school so kids can do that watercolour practice on it they may enjoy it I just don't think I'll ever colour it so it's a gone I can't remember where I got it from but there's the info if it helps I don't think I paid very much for it I think it was quite cheap then I have a whole stack of colouring heavens again sea life why did I buy it I know I'm not enjoying sea life. Um, 
I don't love heavy grayscale like those anyway. That I know Tim Jeff's very popular, I know, but just not for me. Animals, fishy animals. <laughs> like the jellyfish, that might be quite interesting. Oh, axolotl, no. Um, oh, and these Rita Bermans I've got anyway in the book that I already have, so yeah, sea life, no. No, maybe this will be a bit naughty to some people because I know a lot of people really love colouring witches but I've not coloured in this book and when I'm looking through it I just don't think I will colour in this book I don't particularly enjoy the imagery in it it's beautifully drawn, don't get me wrong there's nothing wrong with it it's, it's just not for me it's not images that I enjoy um, yeah, not for me and then I have two dragon's book i've got dragon special and i think it's a dragon's compendium and i thought i'm not i'm not going to work in two like this is cute but i think it's in the other one as well um i'm not going to work in two i think the other one's got um anastasia cold reliever in it so that was a winner because it had that in it like there are some nice nice pages in this but i just don't think i'm ever going to color them and then the last one, yeah, I know, again, I know a lot of people love this issue by Ennis Guerrero, but it's just, again, it's just not the kind of image that I particularly enjoy. I've not coloured it. I don't think I will colour it. It's got to go. It's all going. There might be some more of these on the way out at some point. I've not really been buying them lately. And then I don't know why they weren't together, but <laughs> another one. Yeah, I got this one. As soon as it's out, really. Um, but I haven't coloured it. A good chunk of these I have in other books anyway. And I've not coloured those ones, so I don't need this one as well. So, yeah, I kind of feel like this is just a double up on what I already had. I think I hadn't realised how many of these were already in the books I had when I bought Clydemorphia. So, it's a going. And then some more works books Ooh, huge saving not really because i didn't I haven't colored them but yeah these q gardens books again they're lovely but i don't i don't enjoy the style of drawing that they have and i find the images that they have on the other side a bit depressing looking obviously they're old-fashioned plates aren't they but yeah they don't do it for me so those are also going <laughs> sorry and then I have a set of three that I think are also going I have the tattoo flash colouring book I have the tarot version and the tattoo colouring book which I think this was the original one I've had this one a very long time this one quite often goes to the classroom with me because um, the kids do love this book and it will probably be going back to the classroom so because obviously it's tattoo things so that's cool uh, see, I don't think that was me colouring it. I suspect that was a kid wanted that final <laughs> copy to look at. Um, but yeah, tattoo colouring book. This one's nice as well, the square one. But I just don't find myself wanting to colour it, even though I do like the imagery in it. It just it's not the kind of imagery I want to colour. Although that said, I do quite like these, but only because they remind me of playing cards. Um, most of it yeah just it's an interesting book but a book that I'm fairly sure that I won't ever colour a page in um, and the tarot one I don't even know why I got the tarot one because I very rarely do anything tarot based again it's just not the kind of imagery that I find calls to me personally and yeah so Oh, amazingly, I don't even know how many that was. Quite a few, I think, really, there for me. But yeah, quite a few books that are going to be gone. Um, most of these I will take to school. They're not just going to get binned or anything, because uh, obviously they're quite good as reference books um, in school. There's the perhaps the odd few that I won't. I think, um, if anybody wants gothic fantasy, obviously I'm not going to take that to school. Because, yeah, I think if anybody wants these two, um, 
if you're in the UK, quite happy to send you these two. Um, just let me know first. Uh, message me on Instagram. You can have these two. Um, because I don't think I can take them into school really. It's not really appropriate images for school. The rest probably will go to school because they're useful for after school and things like that. So. Uh, yeah, there's my pile of some space on my bookcase that hopefully uh, gives me a little bit of space back and some books that I haven't worked in and I don't think I'm ever going to work in. So they have to see the door and hopefully go to people that will enjoy them much more than me. I hope you're enjoying your colouring. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.